Okay, in this video, we are going to be pushing images up to Docker Hub. So you can see I have Docker Hub up on the screen here. If you want to follow along, you are going to need your own uh, Docker Hub account. They're free. Uh, it's free to register, free to use. So uh, if you want to follow along, obviously you're going to need your own because I'm not going to be sharing my credentials with the world here. So you can see here I have a, a number of uh, different images that are already up there. Uh, in this case, we are going to be pushing this up there for the first time. Once you have your credentials, we do need to do a configuration step for the uh, Maven plugin to pick things up. So here I have the plugin documentation so from uh, Fabricate. And we can see here that there are six different ways of defining the, the credentials. So you can do system properties, uh, Docker username and password, registry username and password, you can do an auth config section in the plugin. Not too thrilled on that one because uh, right on the, the palm file you'd have credentials, so that's probably not a very good idea. You can use OpenShift configuration. A very common one is uh, using the server tag in your uh, Maven under your home directory .m2 settings, uh, set up a server, so server with Docker Hub, and then uh, the credentials, so that's a pretty straightforward way of doing that. And then finally, you can do a registry. You can see here a credentials helper under a hidden folder in your called Docker config JSON. That one I have not seen used, but I'm sure it is is used out there. So to follow along with this video, you will need to do both have a Docker Hub account and use one of these methods to uh, set up the credentials. Once you do that, have that, you will be able to authenticate with Docker Hub, and you'll be able to push. So. With that said, I'm going to come over to the command line now, or at least IntelliJ. And in IntelliJ, we do have the ability to bring up a terminal, which I'm going to do now. And what we can do here is say maven docker build docker push. So actually, if I was running this for the first time, if I wanted to run everything all together, I could do clean package docker build docker push so that's going to run all those together so uh, let's go ahead and run that and this is going to clean the project uh, rebuild it run our, our couple tests there you can see the spring boot dialog coming up and in a second here we'll get into the uh, build phase you can see here we are building the uh, image and here this is actually the push up to the registry so you can see docker push it is pushing up the various file layers that we created. And that last one's going to be a little big. Glad I have somewhat of a, a speedy internet connection here. And you can see here uh, we have uh, set everything thing up. So it has pushed up to Docker Hub now. We can see the uh, hash digest here of what was pushed up. Let's toggle back over to Chrome and come back over here to Docker Hub. And go ahead and do a refresh of that. And we can see here is the KBE Rest Brewery. It wasn't there previously. Somehow we got three downloads. I'm not sure how that happened. So, uh, but we can see that this is now up inside of Docker Hub. We can see that we have the latest tag and also the snapshot as well. So that has now been pushed up to Docker Hub and is available for anybody that would like to use it.